Hi everyone, welcome back after a while I guess. I have been on and off YouTube and I did put a post for the reasons for that. Hope you all are doing well. I miss being active here but had to take a short break to be fit and fine and I hope I can be active again like before. Anyway, this video was shot a few weeks back. Couldn't complete the editing part posting it now because better late than never. Usually when I'm feeling low and not in a mood to prepare breakfast, I somehow manage myself either with a smoothie or something very really light. But as kids were having breaks in between their exam days, the alternate days they are at home make me confused about what to prepare. This is one size breakfast and it's their favorite. I asked Rehan to go buy these mini buns from the nearby supermarket. I slice each in half, spread some cheese and drizzle honey after placing it in the bowl. This is very simple but very scrumptious. I also do the same when there is leftover chapati or roti. Here we get cheese and honey fataya at Arabic restaurants and I was inspired by it. We can also use pita bread, spread some cheese and drizzle honey and it's ready to eat. Along with those mini buns, I had asked Rehan to buy basmati rice and that was for making chicken mandi. Unfortunately, he bought brown basmati rice. I have never cooked with brown basmati rice any time and I had less idea of the cooking time. I have heard from my friend Shaila that it takes a bit more time than the regular one. Anyway, started preparing with it. I had soaked this for 30 minutes. To 6 large chicken pieces, I added mandi spice mix and I have done a video including this. I shall share the ingredients in the description box. Add around 1.5 tablespoon of the same. Then add quarter to half teaspoon turmeric powder, 3 tablespoons of olive oil and some salt. Mix well and let this marinate for at least 15 minutes. Then shallow fry the chicken pieces in a mix of hot oil around 4 or 5 tablespoons and 2 tablespoons of butter. While the chicken is getting ready, over to the other burner in a pot, heat 2 tablespoons of olive oil and add whole spices along with 2 dried lemons. Mix for a few seconds.
Now goes in two large onions sliced and saute till it's light brown color. This is very take it out I'll add this oil butter mix into the other pot as this has got a lot of flavors in it and we don't want to lose that Onion is done adding two medium tomatoes that was blended Let this get cooked on medium flame for 2 or 3 minutes or until they change color. Normally for regular basmati rice, water is added double the quantity of rice. But here I'm adding a cup more because of the cooking time for brown rice is more. Adding some salt. Now once the water is boiling, drain and add the rice. Give a gentle mix and cover. Keep on high flame and when it starts boiling, reduce the flame to low and cook gradually till the water evaporates. Once you see the water is reduced, almost getting evaporated, place the chicken pieces on top, cover and cook the rest. Time to serve. Brown rice is said to be healthy, however, taste wise, next time I will not prefer this. When I was feeling a bit low, I took a break purposefully to get recovered. And it's very important that we don't push or force ourselves to do something we don't want to do. Listen to your body if you're not well. Listen to your mind if you feel low. Keep yourself happy by doing what you like to do. The world gives you a lot of advices that you might feel depressed on hearing those. So it's okay to ignore those sometimes because you like to hear what you want to hear. You might be constantly attacked with negative comments and positive toxicity. Filtering out is what you need to master and once you know how to do it, you will never look back. I was craving for fried rice and I wanted to prepare it myself rather than buying it from a restaurant. All I had was a few vegetables and egg. I grated a lot of cabbage, chopped one capsicum, carrot and onion.
for fried rice wok is used i didn't have it so i took out my large iron kadai heating a mix of oil and butter adding some pepper powder after a few seconds add chopped onion I used 4 eggs seasoning with some salt and pepper. Into the onion goes some carrot, then capsicum and then cabbage. Everything needs just a few minutes of sauteing. To flavor the rice, I mixed a few ingredients and prepared a sauce. I took quarter cup chicken stock, added one or two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, had this chili tamarind paste with me, so I added two tablespoons of that, two tablespoons of ketchup, and mix well. You may also use some oyster sauce if you have. I didn't have it with me. The vegetables are done. In the center, I added egg and gently scrambled it. Time to toss the rice slowly. Add the sauce a little at a time and mix. Normally long grain rice is used for fried rice. I didn't want to use brown rice so I went for the normal biryani rice that I use. Anyway, taste wise it was satisfying. And that's all for today's vlog and I'll see you again in my next vlog. Take care everyone. See you. Bye bye.